Hello everyone, it is Joyce from Pluffy and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be remaking one of my old charms. So I scrolled through my Instagram from like two years ago and I found this picture. Yeah, the summer of 2020 was the trend of strawberry cow and I actually made this strawberry cow the year before so that was really cool. Unfortunately, I don't have the original strawberry cow charm I made two years ago because I have sold most of my charms. Not that I sold all of them, it's just I used to give extras which meant that every one charm I sold kind of sold two and I also underpriced my work but then again my work didn't look as clean so yeah all the charms I've made in the past have either been sold or given away as extras so yeah let's go ahead and get started with making the strawberry cow charm I only have this one picture so I will be referencing it as I make the strawberry cow charm so the first thing we want to do is make the head I'm going to flatten this out from the front a little bit and then shape the sides of the head into this shape. I don't know what it's called, but I like my head shapes like this. After that, it is time to make the body. So take another piece of clay and roll it into a ball again. This time you want to shape the tip into a cone and then you want to flatten it out a little bit. Then what I do is place it on a flat surface and then I cut this tip off. Then let's go ahead and shape it a little bit so the bottom is a little bit flatter. And now it's time to place on the head. Okay, perfect. And this is usually the shape I do when I make animals. So yeah, the head and the body. Next, what we have to do is make the nose. Here is some pink clay. So I'm going to take a ball about this size. Then I'm going to roll it out a teeny bit, okay, a tiny bit like this. And then I'm going to flatten it like this. So now it's like a nose. Now I'm going to put it on the face where the nose of a cow would be. Like about here. And now we're going to use a dotting tool to make four dots. Two for the nose. And two for the eyes. And now, of course, we are going to make the eyeballs. So for the eyes, you can use black, but I'll be using a dark brown. And what I do is roll out the piece of brown clay and simply cut off two even sections. Then you take these two sections and roll them into balls like this. And now let's place the balls inside the eye holes. Here we are. I think I'm going to do the ears and horn last because those are on top and I kind of need the top to anchor my fingers when I'm pressing something on the bottom. So yeah, let's do the milk bottle next. For the milk bottle, you're going to take another piece of pink about this big and you are going to roll it out like this and then you are going to flatten out the top and bottom. And this will be the storage part of our milk bottle, you know, where all the milk is contained. And then you are going to take a piece of white clay about this size, you are going to roll it, then press it down, and then take your flat piece and press it on top of one side of the pink cylinder. And then you are going to take a dotting tool and make a little indent in the center of the white. And this is where the sucky part of the milk bottle is. I don't know what it's called. It's the part where you put your mouth. Next, it is time to make the sucky part. So what you're going to do is take a piece of transparent clay, roll it at the tip so it is pointy, and press the rounder part into the indent you made with the dotting tool. So now you have yourself a really cute milk bottle. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the milk bottle onto the cow. And you can press it in a little bit. Like this. And I know in the picture you don't see any arms or legs, but I will add them anyways. So for the arms, it's pretty simple. Take a piece of white clay, roll it on a surface, and cut off two even sections. Then you are going to roll each section into a ball, like this. And then you take each ball and one holds the milk bottle right here, while the other holds the milk bottle right here. Perfect. And now we are going to make the little hooves. I'm going to Google how to say it. And now we are going to make the little feet, the little hooves. Just going to stick with feet. For the feet, you are going to do the same thing you did with the arms. Take a piece of light brown clay, roll it out, and cut off two even sections. Then you are going to take each piece and roll it into balls. Then for each light brown piece, you flatten it, 
then you take an exacto knife and make a little indent because you know that's how feet look like like this you know how they look like in cartoons let's do the same for the other one and now you are going to take each foot and place it where the feet would go one here and now we are going to make the little spots on the cow i don't know how many i put in the back but we're gonna stick with two one tiny one and one pattern one so make a tiny ball really tiny ball of pink clay and then make a larger ball of pink clay so for the tiny one you can put it anywhere on the back i'm just gonna put it here and for the larger one what you're gonna do is first flatten it out then you're going to take a dotting tool and make little grooves inside so it's like a little pattern spot if you know what i'm talking about something like this it can be any shape you want honestly you know how diverse these things are and then after that you're going to stick it on the back like this and now we're going to make the tail so for the tail you're going to take a little piece of white we're going to roll it out on a sheet of paper too long so i'm going to cut it in half then i'm going to take the strip of white and place it on the back like this. As for the little fluff at the end of the tail, you are going to take a piece of light brown clay, roll it into a circle, then roll one corner into a point just like what you did with the mouth part of the bottle, and then you're going to stick it at the tip of the tail with the thin part facing up. And there is a strawberry next to the bottle, so we are going to make that as well. So for the strawberry, what you will need is a ball of red clay, roll it into a ball, and roll one end into a point just like what we did with the tip of the tail. Here you go. And then you're gonna take a piece of green clay. So you're gonna take a piece of green, pretty small, to fit on the top of the strawberry. So press the ball of green on the top of the strawberry like this and then you are going to make little indents at the top to make leaf strands. I don't know what they're called. Just a little green thing that come out of the strawberry that are like sticking out, you know, from the center. So just make little marks that go across the green circle that also touch the center of the strawberry leaf. And then you can go ahead and stick it next to the bottle, just like how it is in the picture. And now we are going to make the ears and the horns. So for the ears, you have to make two symmetrical balls, just like what we did with the hands. So roll out a white ball of clay and cut it into two even sections. Roll them each into balls. Then for each ball, you're going to slightly roll it out into a shape like this. Then you just press it against the head. And I know the ears were bigger in the previous cow, but I really like tiny ears. They are so cute. We're going to make tiny ears for this cow. Isn't this so much cuter? And then we're going to make the horns. So for the horns, we're going to once again make two even sections of light brown. And now for each ball, you are going to roll it. And you're going to roll one end into a tip, just like how we did with the tip of the bottle. And you're going to press the other end right on top of the ear. And you can adjust it a little to make it all pointy at the top and even. Like this. Cute little horn. Then you're going to do the same thing for the other side. Perfect. And then the final difference between the previous cow and the cow now is the color of the eye pin. I did silver before, I am doing gold now. Gold is so much, it looks so much better. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and bake and then I will show you guys what to do with the white pen after you are done baking to make the little details on the bottle and the strawberry. Hello everyone, now that strawberry cow charm is finished, we need to take a white gel pen and this is called Jelly Roll. I think you can find it on Amazon or Hobby Lobby. I got mine off Hobby Lobby. Anyways, let me show you guys what to do with your white pen. So first, scribble on a piece of paper to get it to work. What you're going to do is draw a straight line here. And then you are going to draw three lines to the right. And four lines on the left. And it doesn't have to be evenly spaced. I don't think people care. It just has to look like a measure thingy majiggy. And now for the strawberry, we're gonna draw some dots. These are cute seeds, so they have to be white. So yeah, that's all the little detailing we have for our charm. And I'm gonna go ahead and glaze it and show you guys how it looks like. So this is the final strawberry cow charm. I glazed it twice to make it extra glossy. Here's the back. Here's a strawberry. I hope you guys enjoyed this remaking of a charm and a tutorial. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye bye!